Hello students. Students, today we will start a very new topic that is transcription. Let's see what is transcription. Transcription Transcription is the process of copying genetic information from one strand of DNA into messenger RNA. So the process of copying genetic information from one strand of DNA into messenger RNA is known as transcription. And with the help of information present in messenger RNA, polypeptide is synthesized which is known as translation. In today's topic, we will discuss only transcription. So, in a DS DNA, that is double stranded DNA, there are two strands. Suppose this is your strand which has polarity 3 prime to 5 prime. The strand having polarity 3 prime to 5 prime will be called as template strand. It is also called as antisense strand. The other strand which have polarity 5 prime to 3 prime. It is called as the coding strand or sense strand. So here students you can see that in DSDNA there are two strands template strand and coding strand. As I told you earlier the genetic information will flow or the genetic information will be copied from one of the strand and that strand from where the genetic information is copied that is the template strand. Now here the enzyme which is required for this process or we can say the main enzyme which is required for the process of transcription it is RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase is the main enzyme for the process of transcription and this process of transcription it is taking place in the nucleus of eukaryotic cell. So what we have learned? We have learned that the transcription is the process of copying genetic information from one of the strand into messenger RNA. Only one strand will participate in this process and that strand will be the template strand having the polarity 3 prime to 5 prime. The main enzyme for the process of transcription is RNA polymerase and in eukaryotes it takes place in the nucleus. Now we will discuss about the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase is a complex enzyme. And it have three important parts. Let's see what are the three important parts. The first one is the core enzyme. This core enzyme contains four subunits. Two alpha subunit. One beta subunit. One beta dash subunit. All these subunits are always united together and they constitute the core enzyme. Now let's see what is the function of these subunits. Alpha subunit. This alpha subunit is required to bind regulatory protein. The 
the beta subunit it is required to bind to DNA template and the beta dash subunit it is required to bind RNA nucleotide. So here we can see the first part of RNA polymerase is core enzyme which is made up of four subunits, two alpha subunit, one beta subunit and one beta dash subunits. These subunits are always present together. The second part is sigma factor. Sigma factor is required for the recognition of promoter site. Promoter is that region from where the process of transcription will start. The RNA polymerase will bind to the promoter site. And the second thing is it is required for initiation. of transcription. Initiation of transcription means to start the process of transcription. It is not binded to RNA polymerase every time. It will bind only and only when the process of transcription is to be started or for the initiation of transcription. And the third part which is required is the rho factor. This rho factor, it is required for the termination of transcription. When the process is to be stopped, it is to be terminate. What happens? This rho factor will bind to the RNA polymerase. So we can see that the RNA polymerase, it is a complex enzyme having three important parts, core enzyme, sigma factor, and rho factor. My dear students, you should always remember that in the case of prokaryotes, in prokaryotic cells or in prokaryotes, there is only one type of RNA polymerase. And this RNA polymerase will catalyze or we can say will transcribe all the three types of RNA that is rRNA, ribosomal RNA, tRNA that is transfer RNA and mRNA that is messenger RNA. So in prokaryotes there is only one type of RNA polymerase but in eukaryotes there are three type of RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase 1 RNA polymerase 2 and RNA polymerase 3. This RNA polymerase 1 will transcribe rRNA that is ribosomal RNA. RNA polymerase 2 will transcribe your HNRNA that is heterogeneous nuclear RNA which will later lead to the formation of mRNA and RNA polymerase 3 will transcribe tRNA that is transfer RNA. So here we can see that in prokaryotes there is only one type of RNA polymerase which will transcribe all the type of your RNA. But in case of eukaryotes there are three type of RNA polymerase RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2 and RNA polymerase 3. So in this lecture we have studied about RNA polymerase and a little information on the process of transcription. In my next video we will discuss about the transcription unit. Thank you.